caves are frightening natural landmarks you would not want to end up getting lost in. If you're not an expert having all the equipment and enough experience, these can be pretty dangerous for you. Many strange and spooky caves across our planet are hiding some unbelievable secrets, and we've only discovered some of them. In today's video, we'll tell you guys about some of the most exciting cave discoveries made in recent times. So make sure you watch till the end and give this video a thumbs up. Oldest Human Footprints in the World Back in 2014, archaeologists stumbled upon a game-changing feature hiding inside a cave. The oldest human footprints ever discovered were found inside a cave in Romania back in 1965. Initially, experts thought these were between 10,000 to 15,000 years old. This means these are the oldest footprints in recorded history. Some bones discovered in the same cave were analyzed too recently, and it was believed that these footprints are actually 36,500 years old. There are about 400 footprints in the cave, and according to archaeologists, they belong to a man, a woman, and a child. It's mind-boggling to even imagine that our ancestors would have left their marks behind for us. Cave filled with cups made of human skulls If there's anything more unsettling than finding lots of human bones, it's finding tools made of human bones in a remote location. Back in 2011, archaeologists came across a disturbing site which they described as a collection of cups, only those cups were made up of human skulls. No one in their right mind would think about drinking from a human skull, but our ancestors from around 14,000 years ago were strange and brave people who didn't mind using a skull as a cup. The cups were discovered in a cave in Somerset. There were three cups made of two adult skulls and a skull of a three-year-old child. Although experts have pointed out that the people to whom these skulls belonged most likely died due to natural causes, which is quite a relief. 100-Year-Old Axe Murder Joseph Henry Loveless isn't a new name for the true crime enthusiasts out there. The man was born in 1870 and he was brought up by his religious parents. Later in his life, he got married to Harriet Jane Hattie Savage. They had one child together, but the marriage couldn't last and they got divorced in 1904. Loveless then married his second wife, Agnes Octavia Caldwell, with whom he had four kids. But he didn't live a happy and peaceful life with his family. Instead, Loveless became a hardened criminal. He was caught for committing petty crimes on many occasions, however, he managed to escape, but in 1916 he went a little too far. He killed his own wife, Agnes, and was again arrested, but this time too he escaped and was never caught. Several decades later, people finally discovered where he went. In 1979, Henry's torso was found by a family looking for arrowheads in a cave near eastern Idaho, and the rest of his body was discovered 12 years later deep inside the same cave system. At first, his identity was not known, but in 2019, a non-profit organization called DNA Doe Project took on the case and identified that the dismembered remains belonged to none other than the notorious criminal Henry Loveless. Theatre of Bones The entire world was shocked when the Parisian authorities announced that they had found an entire theatre and restaurant made of human bones in 2004. Inside an uncharted cavern located beneath Paris, a full-size cinema screen, projection equipment, and tapes were found by the police. The tapes included the infamous 1950s film Noir Classics. Close to the theatre, they discovered that there was another smaller cave that had been transformed into an informal restaurant and bar. The whole place also has professionally installed electricity systems. This means the caverns were used as relaxing and meeting sites by people who had the money and connections to equip the place with all the necessities. Nothing illegal was found in the caves, but police tried their best to find the people behind this theatre. But when they tried to locate the source of electricity, they found that the lines had already been cut off. Whoever it was also left behind a note saying, Do not try to find us. Hobbit-like human ancestors Some historic finds compel us to think whether we live in the real world or a fictional one. This is one of those finds. Back in 2019, a team of archaeologists stumbled upon numerous tiny skulls inside the limestone cave of Liangua in the island of Flores, Indonesia. They were quite confused by this discovery. It seemed like the skulls were remains of a human species that didn't grow bigger than a three-year-old child. Their skulls were barely the size of a pomelo or a grapefruit. Those people resembling hobbits lived almost 15,000 years ago, according to the scientists, along with pygmy elephants and Komodo dragons, and surprisingly, a huge army of rats. One archaeologist discovered the remains of a female that were a little over three feet tall. She weighed about 55 pounds and died at the age of 30, almost an estimated 18,000 years ago. 
Their brains were presumably the size of a chimp's brain, and some experts think these strange people might have met the modern humans. But sadly, these hobbit-like people no longer exist today. Hikers regret picking up a statue found in a cave. Everyone likes to collect memorabilia on their trips, whether they go to a fashionable city or a hike in nature. But it's an implied rule that you shouldn't pick up any things that seem like they're haunted. However, these two hiker friends who went exploring in the Catskills in New York didn't pay heed to this rule. They found a haunted cave and went inside. Here, they found a strange and frightening statue. The thing was made of wood and had nails in its eyes. There was a noose surrounding its neck and it was around two feet tall. No one in their right mind would think of touching, let alone displacing the statue, but the two hikers decided to take it home. Days after putting the statue in their house, they started noticing strange, inexplicable things like knocks in the middle of the night, disturbing smells, frightening voices. Later, they began to find the statue in other places in the house, so apparently it was moving. At first, they thought their dog was moving it, but the animal avoided this horrifying statue like the plague. The hikers then sought out help from a paranormal expert who took the statue from them, but the paranormal activity in their home never stopped. Eerie Case of Catherine van Olst A cave is surely no place for a child, but somehow Catherine van Olst ended up in one under pretty weird circumstances. The van Olst family was camping in Devil's Dan State Park in 1946. The park is located in Washington County, Arkansas. The 2,500-acre natural reserve is a paradise for nature lovers and tourists who wanted to enjoy outdoor activities like picnics, camping, hiking, mountain biking, and horseback riding. The Van Olst family wanted to enjoy a memorable vacation until their eight-year-old daughter Catherine, who was playing with her father and brothers in the nearby creek, disappeared. She was only wearing her bathing suit and was barefooted. No one expected her to disappear without anyone noticing. Her family searched the ground surrounding the creek thinking she was trying to play hide-and-seek, but she wasn't found for many hours. It seemed like she had disappeared into thin air and her family got worried. They called the local police and park rangers for help. A large-scale search was carried out and the entire park was methodically combed for any clue about Catherine's whereabouts. Six days later, they still hadn't found her and the family was losing hope of finding her alive. However, out of sheer luck, a team of volunteers decided to search the cave a few meters away from the family's campground. The cave was about 600 feet higher than the creek, but against all odds, they discovered the child inside that cave. She was safe and sound. According to Catherine, she ate berries to survive, as the forest had a lot of poisonous berries. Somehow, Catherine knew which ones she should eat. Catherine had a few cuts and bruises, but in no way did she look like a child who'd been lost in the wilderness for six long days. The story of how she got lost in the first place is also quite unsettling. The little girl claimed that she had been shouting for her brothers and dad when that she got lost, yet no one heard her. Even today, the vanishing of Catherine van Olst is considered one of the most mysterious cave rescue missions. 10,000-year-old Cheddar Man and his distant relative This model of a human face is what researchers believe a 10,000-year-old skeleton looked like back when he was alive. This model is called the Cheddar Man and was named after the location where his skeleton was discovered, Cheddar Gorge in Somerset, England. This is also the place where cheddar cheese originated. His remains were discovered in 1903, but it took scientists a long time to analyze them. This analysis revealed that most modern Britons share around 10% of their genetic ancestry with the population to which this man belonged. But sharing DNA doesn't mean they're direct descendants. As it turns out, this mesopithic man still has a distant relative who is alive today. After years of DNA analysis, experts reached Cheddar Man's only direct descendant using the skeleton's molar teeth. The descendant is named Mr. Target and is a 62-year-old history teacher. Researchers also found that Cheddar Man belonged to a Western European population suffering from lactose intolerance. They had light-colored eyes, dark hair, and intermediate to dark complexion. Hellfire Caves this is probably the most mysterious and scary cave out there. It's located in West Wickham, England and lies about 300 feet under the surface. The Hellfire Cave is actually a series of hand-carved tunnels and alcoves. The cave system was excavated for Francis Dashwood during the mid-1700s for the secret society called the Hellfire Club. It wasn't a club for poets or authors. In fact, its members were socially and politically important people like John Wilkes. Benjamin Franklin never became a member, but he was an honored guest. This cave served as a meeting place where they got together for drinking, discussions, and mock rituals. Some believe that these people did unspeakable things inside, but there's no proof of that. 
The cave was a hidden place for the secret society of wealthy pagans, but now people think these are haunted by ghosts. Ancient Crime Scene in a Mexican Cave Mexican police discovered a pile of 150 skulls inside a cave this year near the border of Guatemala. At first, they thought it was a modern-day crime scene, but when they analyzed and investigated the scene, it became clear that they found no ordinary crime scene. The bones date back to between 900 and 1200 AD. This means that more than 150 people were beheaded inside this cave more than a thousand years ago during an ancient ritual. All the teeth from the skulls were also pulled out. Archaeologists think these skulls belong to sacrificial victims. This was a common practice in many cultures back then. Cave filled with snot Believe it or not, but these are real. Snot-filled caves are even allotted a name by researchers. They're called snotites. The snotites are actually the slimy stalactites inside caves made of goo. Most caves around the globe have distinct stalactite formations. Some even have an array of mucus-like chandeliers dangling from the roots. Seeing this gooey slime flowing down is a pretty unsettling sight, but scientists consider these a micro-paradise. These few organisms can thrive in the dark caves, but several species have been discovered in these slime-filled caverns. Some caves even have sulfur, which renders the environment acidic. Acidity isn't favorable for most life, but some organisms have found a way to survive in it by creating their own mucus film that protects them from all the toxic substances. Cave of Crystals Giant crystals are seen poking out from every single part of this cave and make it look like an alien landmark, but it's actually the Nica Mine of Mexico. It's also called the Cave of the Swords and was discovered more than a hundred years ago. To enter this cave, people have to travel from a mine in Chihuahua, Mexico. This place is almost entirely underwater and when you reach the cave, the huge stone specimens welcome you. Some of these have grown up to 45 feet in length and 6 feet in width. Some of the crystals weighed a whopping 55 tons and are considered the largest crystal chunks on Earth. These are made of gypsum, so they're not very valuable. Scientists find 33 new creatures in a cave sealed off for 5 million years. It's hard to imagine what you'd find inside a sealed cave that has been isolated from the outside world for millions of years, but when researchers found this spooky cave in Romania, they were in for a surprise. The cave has remained sealed from the world for 5 million years, according to scientists. Because it was sealed, the air inside the cave had turned toxic, so they assumed there wouldn't be any life in there. But they were wrong, because they actually found a total of 48 living species living inside the age-old cave. And among these, 33 were completely new for humanity and haven't been found anywhere else on the planet. Most of the creatures found in there didn't have eyes. It was probably because there wasn't any light in their habitat. That's also why most of them were incredibly pale. Scientists are going to need a little more time to study this cave thoroughly, and who knows, they might even find more new species. Ancient Forest A team of scientists discovered a huge sinkhole in China not long ago. It's about 600 feet deep. That's almost as deep as the Space Needle in Seattle is high. When researchers climbed down into the sinkhole, they were shocked to find that there was an ancient forest filled with trees, plants, and other living creatures. All these life forms have been thriving here in the hole without any influence from or interaction with the outside world for several thousand years. Scientists are still studying and exploring the forest, and according to them, it's possible that they will discover new life inside this cave. The Cave of the Cannibals Archaeologists found something frightening back in 2016. They actually found human bones inside a Belgian cave. All the bones had visible signs of butchery, like they were slain. Some of the bones have been cracked open to reach the marrow, while others had cut marks from knives. This discovery led researchers to postulate that between 40,000 and 45,000 years ago, the Belgian Neanderthals actually ate each other to survive. Human bones were found with the remains of slaughtered animals like reindeer and horses. Cannibalism has been practiced by some of our prehistoric ancestors, but Belgian Neanderthals seem to be the first ones to butcher their own kind like it was any other animal. No one knows why they did it. It could have been a sacrificial ceremony, hunger, or maybe for survival. That was all about scary caves. Tell us which of these discoveries did you find most interesting. We'll be back soon with another amazing video. Until then, have a great time.